Yeah. Um, we have some uh, fan questions from the website. Yeah. Because we uh, asked uh, if people would send in some questions for you. Yeah. And then we could choose a few questions. Yes. Yeah. 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 So we have some from uh, Argentina. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and she asked, what kind of characteristic made you realize that Rupert was the one for Gunnar Smith's role? Because even though the agent suggested him, you yeah. might have some thoughts yourself. Yeah, I had some thoughts myself, and and I mentioned those thoughts to the to the agent, and then he suggested uh, Rupert because we were just starting to search for 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 actors, and um, uh, it's uh, there's something about um, there's something uh, to be fiery, streetwise. And there, there's something about <coughs> seen in, in in movies, in Harry Potter movies, and all that. There's that he he's a, he's a nice guy, but he also has a temperament. He has, he has the ability to be uh, uh, to, yeah. It's, it's not only uh, even, but even if he's he even if he's fiery and he's really out there and he speaks his mind and he, there's there's always a nice side to him. Or, uh, and I I wanted this this gun. Robert Smith to be <coughs> um, a, a, a really, a really nice guy that uh, that just has a, has a temperament and, and speaks his mind and dares to to um, confront the enemy and uh, authorities and and I felt that uh, from when I started looking at the work that Rupert had done, I, I felt that he has this that is very charming, boyish. Uh, and I, um, I like <laughs> for me. I, I don't know. I've always been a fascination mm. for for uh, red-haired people. <laughs> my wife has red hair. My daughter has, <laughs> and uh, there is uh, there is something about it that just stands out. Mm. As, um, I'm not saying that they're on fire, but uh <laughs> 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 but it's uh, so there, there's something about it that I that is. Uh, is rare in a positive way. Mm. So, um, so that, that that combination of, of temperament and, and kindness, I think, it's, I felt that Rupert had. And also, I met him. Is I mean, he's uh, he's, he's a nice guy. Mm. <laughs> sweet, very sweet. So it's almost always the words that come yeah. out from Rupert. Like yeah, yeah. Kind down to him. Yeah, very, very much so. so um, and then Elena from Russia said, uh, were there any funny or strange moments during filming that you'd like to share? I, I have this, uh, I, I don't know if it's age or whatever it is, but I, I forget <laughs> things. I just, because <laughs> with, with, the, with, the, with the pressure we have on set, it's just, you, you just have to move forward. You have to constantly, especially out there in the, in the, in the wilderness. Uh, when the weather is changing all the time and it's, it's, it's this constant time pressure, so I, I forget, I just forget, I just I just move on. But uh, of course, it's uh, many many f strange and funny moments with with people mm. out in in the snow, the deep snow, uh, the wind, the, the noise, and everything that are not used to it, not used to being there. So I, I'm mm. Rupert and his, his uh, what do you call it, assistant Sarah. They were, they were standing there like two penguins or, or <laughs> teletubbies or whatever, and just touch me and So these these images of, of um, these people who are totally strangers to this uh, area. That's that's always funny visions, but it's uh, uh, I I don't remember any. Maybe as we talk, maybe I can't remember. But mm -hmm. I, I'm. I'm, I'm Always very bad at that. Always. Uh, the it's, it's the practical mm -hmm. aspect and make sure that people are okay and that we, we get the, the the scenes done and and I get the material I need and because we don't we don't we don't have any time to to wait. Mm -hmm. uh, we just freeze. <laughs> we might freeze in the. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and it's cold all the time. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Went in June, in, in yeah. Norway, June. Said it was very cold. It was so cold in June. In June, June. Yeah. yeah, up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. We could only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 it was uh, very windy and, uh, and pretty cold. 
mit deinem. Äh, you must be used to it. Or someone is used to it. I, I, I mean, I love it. I, yeah. uh, that, whether I, I, I'm. Half my wardrobe is, is <laughs> about being prepared to be out in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seek it mm -hmm. even when I don't work. So. <laughs> That's not the first time you shoot a movie, that it kind of... Yes, it is actually. It's, it's the first time, I, it's very strange because I'm a nature guy, but I, my, most of my movies have been, have been taking place in the city. Mm -hmm. More urban, urban stuff. Would you like to try it again? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So... It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just looking the picture, yeah. 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 from Zentropa was putting on the blog to the yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> With that broom, it's like they were um, counting the amounts of snow. With yeah, the yeah. It was like all the sound. <laughs> like That's a lot of snow. Yeah, there's a lot of snow. And let's see if I have a name. Yeah, show you. Yeah. But we, we can keep talking. Okay, about okay. okay. Um, because we'd like to go back to the beginning. Um, how did you get the job? It might seem like a simple question. Now, I, uh, the Centropa, mm -hmm. Denmark, they, they wanted to establish uh, a, a branch in, in, in Oslo, in Norway. Mm -hmm. And then they, they wanted to get in touch with some directors that they wanted to attach to the company, and I was one of them. <coughs> so I had a meeting with um, Peter Olbeck Jensen mm -hmm. and, uh, and Valerie Saunders, mm -hmm. who's, who's the head of the company. Mm -hmm. there. And um, I had a few projects, uh, and uh, they had this project, Comrade. Mm -hmm. And they they told me about the story, and it was the first I think it was the first draft of the script in that time. And um, and I read one, and I yeah, that's that's uh, interesting. I felt especially since it's based on the on the true story. I felt that maybe it's a little obvious conflict the two enemies they meet, and they but it's uh, but I liked it, and I was also, uh, since I'm also one of the scriptwriters, we, first Ole Melgård, he wrote the um, first draft, and then I, uh, he and I worked on it, and then we brought in another a third guy called Dave Mangold, who was more into hardcore drama, and, uh, and I, wanted, I wanted it very much, because I saw, I saw the humor in it, and the absurdity, of the, the, the strange, each other down and meet in the same cabin. It's, uh, I wanted to... I think yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's destiny and irony and everything. And uh, I also um, felt that I like the, uh, to, to kind of address men of, the, of their vanity, mm. uh, <coughs> officers and, <coughs> and um, everything that the uniform does do. I've been to the army myself, or to the military, the air force, and the, the 20 year old boy, you have to do that in, in Norway, I guess you have to do that in Denmark, mm. three times, so maybe, I don't uh, know. In Switzerland you have to go, it's not a choice. No. And Except if you're, if you're going to school, you can postpone it. Yeah. But then, and then when, when you get a uniform, even though you don't want to go out and shoot and kill people, it, 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 it does something to you. You mm. find a way to <laughs> to to look tough mm -hmm. and and, uh, yeah. and cool and everything. So it's um, so I want I wanted to see when what happened when these five men officers I mean enemies it's a world war going on and uh, and what happens uh, with these men that when they they realize that we're the same mm -hmm. and. Uh, so I, I, I wanted to explore that, and with the and also uh, the fact that there are pilots that can fly, they can be up in the air. But this is the first time in life experience for all of them. The first time they they crash, <laughs> the first time they're out in the snow, the first time they lose all their food and and uh, shelter, uh, the first time they meet the enemy. Mm -hmm. So everything and and. They're out of food, they're out of uh, the wood for the fire, and they have to to, to find out how to to survive. Yeah, and rely on each other. Yeah, and rely on each other. And and the, the biggest problem is to rely on themselves, because especially the German or Stoker who who takes the bits as, as prisoners of war, suddenly so is in deep shit. 
because then he's responsible. Like you saw in the, the clip yesterday. Yes, the first one. According to the Geneva Convention, we're entitled to three meals a day. It's so, and then, so I, and also, because in real life, it was only the, only the, the, the Germans who had handguns. The, the Brits didn't have any. So at the, at the moment, he pulls his gun and say you're prisoners of the World War of the Third Reich, then he has lost, in a sense, because uh, they've been arguing about the things, but then he, he doesn't have any argument. His intellectual capacity or his authority is, is not strong enough, so he has to pull a gun, so he, that weakens him. <laughs> and, um, and, then, and then the Brits, they can start with, uh, with their arrogance and their psychological warfare, so they constantly... He's, he's constantly, the British officer is constantly doubting the, the uh, German officer's authority and he makes him doubt his own authority. So, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember the question now. But <laughs> <laughs> and the question was, how did you get the German? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, so this more um, why I, I think it's yeah, more why, why I took the, why I decided. That's what yeah. you said yesterday, that you were very excited. And something special about the movie wanted to make you to go further. Yeah. yeah. But would you say that would be unexpected for us fans and just general film viewers to see the humor in a film? Yeah, like I this? think it as I think it's uh, I think it's quite unexpected and, and very human actually. Mm. Uh, I think it's I think it's I think more it was yeah, 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 it's, yeah. A, it's a chamber drama. Yeah. Really, I think you call it. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, but it's it's constantly uh, affected by by the surroundings, by the 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 nature, and the fact that they don't know where they are. Mm. They don't know if they will ever get out of there, and mm. or alive, or who will get out of there, and they're in no man's land. So the like the um, the wilderness. Yeah. Is it is it a a six main character essentially? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, ha it has such a huge part, huge part that it, it is a main character along definitely. with the, the actors. Yeah. I think the, the, the cabin is a character <laughs> itself and, uh, and nature. Okay. It's, uh, it's exactly it's like seven. <laughs> I, for me, it's the, the cabin is uh, it's, um, like an old lady. <laughs> that, well, this is <laughs> may, might not be much, but it's, this is all I got. Yeah. You, if you can. If you can uh, if you take care of me, I will take care of you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, is that part of the reason why you changed the title as well? Besides the copyright and the yeah, we, yeah, in into the white is mm. is this unknown landscape. White, it's just blank. It's it's literally white. I can mm. show you some. Um, <laughs> and the people reacted very well at the the first poster. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah it's so dramatic, you know that something bad is going to happen. Yeah. It was you very probably this is the real. It was something you wanted to do to go to Grunty. I was I was uh, I was not sure whether where I wanted to shoot it because uh, we were looking at places uh, uh, other places up in the mountains. And it made a really quite a, an impression on the on the actors when we when we I because the rest of the wreck is still there. Oh, it is uh, at the national park. Or yeah, yeah, it's, it's or on board to the to a national yeah, park. Okay. But it's I, so I brought I brought the actors out there and uh, and uh, and I told them that five feet under here under the snow there the the actual plane is mm -hmm. you can find the plane mm -hmm. or, or part of it. Yeah. 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 Did you did do some filming at the actual spot? Or no. Or no. Okay. Uh, it, it because because of the national park, yeah. you know, yeah. so I wanted to do it, but but also I wanted to be I wanted it to be high up in the mountains with no trees or anything, mm -hmm. because yeah. I know as soon as you as soon as you see this, mm -hmm. you know there's a valley, it's going down somewhere, and you can yeah. follow it. Yeah. So I wanted yeah, to be true. on top, so it's, it's only white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's no sense of civilization or... No. no. But 
did you did you end up removing any particular scenes that you would have liked to have you it attached to? <laughs> yeah, you were attached to some. No, I don't think I've taken. Uh, it's it's almost the whole entire script is. Okay. A, a few minor scenes that are not. Uh, but you don't feel yet like you had to compromise. No. Much. No. I, well, I had to. I, then again, I, I don't remember really because <laughs> it was just such a. Mm. What would you say was is your favorite scene if you have one? I I no, <laughs> I, I, I think it's actually. Uh, I must say it's a very good script, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's. Um, I think every, all the, every scene deserves it. Yeah, it's great in the in the movie. So, uh, so I. Um, so how was the atmosphere on the set? Actually? I w I would say w it was very good. It was uh, stressful, but it was it was very good. You can see. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have any sense of order or anything. No. Uh, yeah. No. The, the, it, with, with the, it was very good. Mm. Actually. Would you ever consider hiring Rupert again in another yeah, kind sure. of role? Yeah, or sure. I mean, he's a great actor. He's mm. a cool guy. What kind of role <laughs> would you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, it, 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 it depends on first I, 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 what kind of project yeah. I want to make yeah. and yeah. then, then uh, the idea of the actors yeah. later. Yeah. But uh, at one point in life it would be nice to to find the actors first and then say, here we have the actors, let's build some characters around them, let's write play for them for mm -hmm. a, or a, or a mm -hmm. film for them. But I, now I have many bigger projects in store local theatres, so, okay. mm -hmm. so I start rehearsing a play at the theatre in Oslo uh, uh, 9th of January, so, so I got so many, and then and some other big projects. Yeah. Yeah. Now the it's inspired by a real story. Yeah. How much did that like, in influence your your work, both on <coughs> set and before filming? And I think it uh, it it was a great inspiration to to have met um, mm. uh, Horst Schopis, mm. the the real guy. Yeah. 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 You're probably seen these pictures. Yeah. 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 And that's the guy. Then that's the that's the real Henkel plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, and uh, it was a it was a <laughs> it was a great uh, inspiration to meet him <laughs> and hear him just tell what happened. Yeah. But um, it's 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 very it's very what our story is inspired by true events and it's. We're inspired by the fact that they shut each other down and they met in the same cabin. And later in life, mm. they met. Mm. Well, everything in, uh, we have invented, yeah. we yeah. have created. We, we have created it based on because he wrote one or two books. Uh, mm. The real portrait. Uh, he he has written a book, and there are m many articles. Uh, the, the hotel owner at Grootley, he knows him very well, he's heard stories. Uh, we have met people, talked to people. Uh, I got a report from the ski patrol, the Norwegian ski patrol who shot the, the German guy. Mm. Uh, and uh, so it's we, we are inspired, and I'm very much inspired there uh, this report by the fact that these guys were young, untrained soldiers mm. uh, who were traumatized uh, later on after having shot him. So they, uh, so these these uh, these were not professional killers or, or murderers or anything. It was just young people, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, in the resistance movement, uh, trying to, to to do something mm. for their country. Mm. And um, I was very much inspired by the fact that he, he told me. Uh, I asked him wh wh when you when you landed in the rain and snow, weren't you happy that you were alive? No. I was just disappointed. I have failed. Yeah. I, 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 I was uh, no longer a man of honor. I was, uh, I was a failure. Mm. And uh, he said I had to do, do one step at a time to 
find uh, bury bury the the the, 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 the rear gunner of his plane that was shot uh, in the fight up in the air and um, and then find shelter and then find our way back home. And then he, he was uh, taken to prisoner of war and he spent seven years in Canada. Came back in, in 1947 and um, uh, they have lost. Mm. And uh, that really influenced him. So it's, for him, it's, it's, uh, he, he's, been, he's been struggling all the rest of his life to, to regain his dignity. Mm. So the mission became to fall the man, in a sense. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also what I've, I've read and seen about this British guy who speaks in this, well, there were some things, and uh, mm -hmm. he shook hands with a, a very typical British yeah. uh, kind of upper class cliche, but um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm inspired by, by the real characters and what I've read about them mm -hmm. and, uh, and meeting them most, but then, then the rest is just it's, it's fiction. Yeah. We, yeah. What happens if five men two enemies meet in a cabin and have to survive together. Mm. But did uh, horse shoppers have any ideas or any changes to them? No, yeah, he didn't even read the script. Okay, okay. He was just looking forward to see the movie. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I guess he would have been very surprised, but all of the characters, they come out of this mm. movie with mm. with the uh, dignity and, and uh, we don't, we don't, point at anyone and say that you're no. a bad guy. The, the only one who's, uh, who's the guy who did it cross the place, he's, uh, he's, he's a kind of a hardcore Nazi who eats from Mein Kampf and all that. But then he also, he's, he's, um, then he's got nothing because you see that the enemies become friends so it's, it's, uh, his ideology doesn't apply anymore. It's, mm. it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, everything is taken away from him. and. Uh, he doesn't have anything left, and uh, so it's, I feel sorry for him as well. Mm. <laughs> so it's, uh, I think it's, uh, they can be, we take very well care of all the characters. I don't think the, the story is like, do they, they shoot them down and the Norwegian military team and find them? Well, it was a long period of time? No, <laughs> in, in uh, our movie it's five, five days, in real life it was only one night. Okay. They, and I don't think they even spent the night, I, I never really understood that, whether they spent one night in the cabin together or not, because the, the bridge, they, they walked down, because the cabin was 500 meters away from Grusli, so I said, so said, no chance. And um, so uh, the men they met there in the cabin, um, and they didn't take them as prisoners of war or anything. Mm -hmm. They didn't even touch the guns. They, uh, they, the, the Brits, they went down to to the uh, to the hotel, and they entered the hotel, and the panel was there. there was no one there. Uh, so they found the chocolate and the and biscuits and brought back to the jail in the shed. And then I think the Brits went back to the hotel again and slept oh. in. Uh, in the room, <laughs> okay. uh, and then the next morning, when the 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 British were about to take off, the Germans came, and then the Germans were a little bit more hostile and anxious. So uh, they said that no, you're not you're not going anywhere on your own. Uh, one was on the British, you take one of the Germans with you, and and and, and then uh, and then the ski patrol came, and, and so it, it's just a day after. So it's not. It's it's um, it's a good setup for a story, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's not the action. No, I, I mean if we made a movie out of what actually happened, mm -hmm. it would be very boring. A short film. Yeah, yeah, it's been <laughs> fairly short film. Mm -hmm. I think I, I'm not saying it would be boring, but it's it, it's much more interesting to to have these people trapped mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. realm. Yeah. Now it's a Norwegian production, but what, what, was there any? Advantages or disadvantages of having such a mixed international crowd? I think it's uh, mainly advantages. It's a little bit hard to say, well, is it a Norwegian movie mm. or a British movie or a German movie? Or it's because it, it's an international movie, yeah. but it's made in Norway by a Norwegian director, co writer. So we, we've tried to make a Norwegian movie, but it's 
I think that's mainly when we release it in Norway that it, yeah. it is a Norwegian movie. Yeah. Well, but will it have a Scandinavian feeling to it? Because sometimes you can you can sense okay, this is an American. No, I think yeah, I think it definitely has a European or Scandinavian feeling. Yeah. I've never seen a Scandinavian movie like this, but I think with the with the humor, the the nature, yeah, yeah. The, the all these things, I think you the dark humor is yeah, very yeah, Scandinavian. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> but what are your expectations? Worldwide? I hope uh, that I, I, first of all, I think it's a good movie. Yeah. So I, um... Fans are going crazy. Yeah. 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 I, every time we talk about mm. this to do <gasps> Did the movie come in the USA? Did yeah. the movie come in the America is very, you know, they, yeah, they're keen. Then they gotcha. They're talking a lot about it. Yeah. So I think it. I think it will definitely be a big success in England. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I think it's a, it's a very rare occasion with with the with the Germans and the Brits like going together like that in Germany to be a big success as well. And it's for Americans and and I think it's it's more a human drama than a, than a normal uh, war movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's about could be two two Christians and two Muslims. Mm-hmm. Could be two, two Jews and Palestinians. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, uh, it could be uh, any any conflict where people who are in conflict are hated. Two neighbors mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, that have been arguing about over the height of the fence yeah. or whatever. It's uh, the it's, it's, so it's all about this universal story about what happens when prejudice is being put to a test. Uh, it's what I've been told, what I've heard, it doesn't apply anymore. I, you're, you're, you're not the bad guy just because you're German. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, the you, you don't have to drink beer all the time <laughs> just because you're Dan- Danish. <laughs> Danish. <laughs> that's the <hysterical. laughs> Yeah, that's, that's I know it is. In, you know, no way. It's, 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 it's yeah. They're <laughs> quite drunk here and happy and drink beer all the time. That's, that's I promise we're not drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I've been to Denmark a lot. I mean, yeah. the Danes are really proper, yeah. uh, sophisticated people, but the the mix yeah, is that they. They drink all the time. I thought so it was the British who was drinking. Or did you have any? Any pranker or pranks and private joke on the set? Uh, it was like kinder, kind, kindergarten. Yeah, yeah kindergarten. Yeah. Or is it just like I no time? I think there's a lot of giggling. <laughs> oh, okay. Rupert is known to giggling a lot. <laughs> and uh, they they soon learn how to make him giggle and uh, and. Uh, Are they doing it on purpose? Yeah, yeah. So they start to do it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, I must admit, I, I didn't all the time think that was very funny because of the time pressure. Yeah. You know, so, so, oh. I heard <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I uh, I always uh, appreciate people laughing, but uh, but uh, <laughs> some no no you no the yeah we yeah. know that we have to get this scene we have to do, do all this so it's uh, but it, then it's. I know how it is when you start to giggle, yeah, yeah. you know that you shouldn't do it, then you giggle. Yeah. What about the uh, Did you have a coach or did you just learn it yourself? He learned it himself. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, we had a coach in England, so he was, uh, had learned it when he, when he came. Yeah. Okay. We just didn't, didn't bring the coach, but he had a, he had a coach. Okay. Um, he had to learn the best that I can. No, the, the <laughs> Liverpool. Yes, but yeah. on... Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I think so. Um, what was it like to have someone like Rupert in the film when he brings so much exposure and attention because of the Harry Potter film? It's a. I mean, I I like that. I like that the the, the things I make get into uh, some kind yeah. of. <laughs> so. Um, but we saw that in uh, Sweden, he yeah. was almost stopped. Yeah, and, and of, course, uh, of course, of so course, uh, uh, <laughs> that doesn't bother me. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, um, 
And then, but then uh, he has his assistant and, and she can say, well, we have, we have to go now and all that. So he, and he, because he doesn't want to be rude, he's not rude and he's, he's, uh, um, he likes to talk to people. And, um, but of course, I mean, if he didn't get some help or, or he would just be stuck you yeah. know, with, with people who want to talk to him. But, he, but he's, and I can understand they want to talk to him because he's a, he's a nice guy. And, but for me, there was no problems at all. Had, on the contrary, it gave a lot of attention to the project. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and, he, uh, and he has to take. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he gets it. I don't. So uh, for me, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, that's, uh, Did you get any delays on the schedules because of the weather and stuff? Uh, up uh, in the mountains, we did all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, was just constantly changing. So that was. Uh, so it was three weeks in. What three weeks, yeah, 15 days of shooting. Yeah. Okay. And it's and that's only one third of the movie. Yeah. yeah. But more but time. yeah, I think almost a little bit more than yeah, 32, 33, 35 pages or so. I think I don't know, hundred, hundred and two. So. Um, uh, but we we a lot of delay because of the weather. So you had planned on staying there for less time. Or? No, we no we planned. Did you manage? We planned for three three weeks. Okay. We had to get caught one day, but the weather was so bad, so we, and the camera didn't work <laughs> because of the uh, some humidity inside the camera. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, then we have to, so we got an extra day up there, so uh, we. 31 days of shooting, but still it's only 30 days. Yeah, yeah. So, no, no, the, the weather, you you just have to use it, because we wanted all kinds of weather. We wanted the, in between, just the cloudy, and we wanted really bad weather. We want, and, but then, when you put up a wind machine to, to create a storm, or something, you have to have the, the wind, the wind machine coming from the same direction as the wind, because you can't, Use the the wind machine, mm, yeah. so yeah, and then the wind was changing all the time and moving this huge wind machine. It was a big motor with a propeller. It's a, uh, in the snow. It's uh, it's it's not very practical to, to do it in real nature, but it, it has a better effect. It has a better effect, yeah. and it it's uh, especially for the Norwegian crew. They love it. I mean, yeah. they really. Uh, and you can also see that it's not. Special effects. That yeah. it is real it's and it real. and it looks amazing. Yeah. So. That's so what I was thinking in the yeah. uh, in the scenes. Like it's it's real snow. Yeah. And then you yeah. Enter <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some of it is uh, it's the snow machine, the stuff like that when they are get go closer, but um, that uh, altogether it looks real. Yeah. 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 You happy? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we look forward to it even more now. Yeah. yeah. After seeing some of it. That's good. Yeah. Because just the pictures, it's hard to imagine what the film is really yeah. about. Yeah, the yeah. feeling of it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So uh, if you get a better impression now, that's, that's good. Yeah. You can do a lot of work for us. <laughs> well, we are. Well, yeah, yeah. It's just fun. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think it's, it's going to be a... Um, in a positive sense, a rarer kind of movie, yeah. but I think it's very entertaining. It's not uh, necessarily an art house movie, or it's just. A, I think it's for. A, I think it is for a large audience. I think that people from. I have a daughter. She's 16. She loves it. She thinks it's great, and and uh, other people. And uh, so uh, I think mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a universal story. Yeah. Different ages as well. Country. Yeah. yeah. And there's, there's a, there, there are no women in the movie. <laughs> there are two two nurses uh, in the Norwegian military camp. But you might you might get get some comments about discrimi discrimination. Yeah. Or <laughs> but I think I think that um, it's it's definitely a movie about men yeah. for women. Yeah. I think it's uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's uh, I think we women like to see these, yeah, they're strong men, but they're also vulnerable, yeah. Yeah. they're just human beings, yeah. and they will copy 
small petty matters as who, who should do the dishes. And it's also yeah. interesting to see a war movie that's n- that just not about people shooting each other. No. Um, it's more interesting. There, there are two shots in the movie. Yeah. Two shots? That's not allowed. No. <laughs> of course, you hear in the beginning you heard it, yeah, uh, yeah. but that you don't see it. You no. never see the plane. Okay. You only see the shadows uh, when they. On the, 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 uh, yeah, the, the poster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you will see the shadows like. So it's, it's just pure nature, untouched by civilization, and then you see the shadows of civilization, and then they crash land and you see the plane, and, and, uh, and uh, the rest is no shooting. They shoot an animal at one point, and then one of yeah. the guys gets shot. Yeah. And as, well, as I said yesterday, it's very rare that the Norwegians are not the heroes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, very happy about when, that. Because when we drive around Norway, yeah. there's, there's, there's a lot memorials of memorials everywhere. Yeah, from the Second World War. Yeah, from the soldiers who fought bravely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were of like, course did, did they play a big part? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we didn't know it. Uh, and so, of course, I mean, many, many, uh, quite a few did mm-hmm. play an important part. There were saboteurs, and, and yeah. but most of them didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but they like to say they did. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. This small country, yeah. only three, three, four million people, <laughs> and we beat the hell out of the Germans. <laughs> cool. <Yeah. laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, can we have a picture? Yeah.